Hello and welcome to part 8 of Make Your Own Emulator. And as we've seen in the last episode, we've had a couple of bugs. And I've fixed four of those, and I'm still trying to figure out why the collision detection is either not working correctly or a different operation is going wrong and therefore uh, not interpreting the collision correctly. So I will quickly go over the couple of fixes I've applied. The random gibberish in the near the left score was because I forgot to add a break after the random function so it calculated the random number and then it would immediately draw no matter what which was a bit of a pain and the keyboard didn't work because I wrote this as the key instead of the actual value of vx as it says skip the next instruction if key vx is pressed and I made if key x is pressed. So I've changed that on both checks and I tried on fixing this one as the wiki said that the original interpreter did increment the uh, memory pointer but it didn't fix all that many. So let's start the debugging. So I will first show you the problem which is the game is getting rendered and our ball will slowly move towards our cursor. Slowly but surely. And it will basically wrap all around the game like nothing is happening. So either the collision is going wrong or the collision is not being interpreted. So I we I will uh, add some breakpoints. So first of all I will add a breakpoint on the run method and oh yes yes just show it. Um, well, this is getting a bit tricky. I'm used to being able to debug on multiple screens. Alright. We've got our breakpoint set and the game is running. So I will quickly go to the console and execute the first code. And I actually want to change this one already because I want to have it here instead of and run. So, so I can see which code will be executed and if I want to do more debug on that specific code I can. So I will wrap through a couple of doesn't that does have a good hotkey things. I will let it render a couple of times. And now it will slowly, even more slowly, but surely go into the drawing phase. So it is setting a couple of values. Um, yeah. It's redrawing a batch. And specifically, I'm waiting for a V16 or no, V15. Yes, 15. 
as that is the carry flag. But as of now, I'm not seeing any of that. So either I've implemented something wrong, or something else is fishy. I'm curious why this is happening. So I'll look for the next occurrence. Is it E O A one? E O A one. Ah, I didn't. Bing next instruction if V X is not pressed and I should do that at a better location and this code will instantly be inserted into the application as Java can hot swap code. As long as I don't make any significant changes to the structure, it will just do as expected. Now we are coming to the stage that the ball is going to crash into the wall. Uh, oh! Bollocks! I actually wanted to Catch that one. And I will move the breakpoint to this one. Or this one. There we go. Yep. There we go. So the ball is now here. I have actually no idea what it's trying to draw here, which is a bit awkward. So what's the line? 128, which is everything to 1. So I'm drawing a line or something. Did I? I'm still thinking that, like, my. My rendering code is wrong. But it doesn't seem to be so. Nope. Seems all right. So let's continue a bit. I'm gonna shift that one. And no, 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 no.
And actually, if it's getting out of bounds, it should also do something. So right now, V1 is being set. So I can V15 is a character I cannot read. Bollocks. Um, now that's a bit of pain. Uh, So, um, it should get so I'm actually wondering why the heck is never carry flag checked. I'll we'll remove this breakpoint. Alright, so this part is an entire loop of the game. So, it should be... Well, I still don't see why stuff is broken, so I will take another week to figure out why the heck V15 is never checked. I'll have a look in my old code to see if the collisions are working there properly and what my changes are. So, I will see you guys next week.